so aerosol particles are these tiny little guys in the atmosphere. It can be as small as a few nanometers to a few micrometers. And a micrometer, just to give you an idea, might be a little smaller than the width of your hair. Mm -hmm. So they're very, very small, but they actually have a very large impact on a lot of things that matter to us. Okay. For example, most people are familiar with aerosols because of their effect in produ producing atmospheric haze, mm -hmm. which if you're ever on a plane landing in, in the LAX on a five, p.m. on a Friday, you'll see the soup as you go down. Mm -hmm. That's because these little particles can interact with uh, solar radiation. One of the intriguing things about these aerosol particles is that they are the seeds of cloud droplets. Oh. So we cannot really produce clouds in the sky without these particles. And um, the effect of these particles in influencing uh, cloud properties and their tendency to want to rain is a very challenging research topic that I'm very engaged in right now. It's very challenging, first of all, to study these particles in the atmosphere because they have a very limited lifetime in the atmosphere. You know, they can go up and if they're very big, like dust particles in the southwest, they might settle down very quick. So they have a very short lifetime. Um, the second thing is their properties are always changing. So if I'm emitting a particle here at this point in Tucson, if I follow that air parcel for about 100 kilometers, the properties might change quite a bit. Hmm. So these particles are just uh, very challenging to study. So we look at these particles in different ways. Um, many people do ground-based measurements. For example, there's a laboratory um, that is part of the Department of Atmos Atmospheric Sciences at the U of A on top of Mount Lemmon. Mm -hmm. So they do ground-based measurements over a span of many, many years to sort of see how various aerosol properties are changing. Um, a more direct way of really following the particles in the atmosphere is with aircraft measurements. And that sort of is probably the hardest way to study the particles, but sort of the most accurate to really see what's going on, how these things are changing. Yeah, the Office of Naval Research is, has been interested in aerosol particles for some time now, uh, mainly because of the effect of these particles in influencing sort of visibility and transmission, signal transmission. So they are very interested in how aerosols are interacting with radiation and water vapor in the marine atmosphere. So um, since I started graduate school at Caltech, I've been involved with a number of aircraft field studies using the Navy Twin Otter, which is normally in Monterey, California at the Naval Postgraduate School. And so we use the, their actual aircraft to do these field studies. And um, this past summer, uh, we had a field study in the Southern, uh, Southern California, you know, the Los Angeles Basin. Mm -hmm. And the goal of that project, uh, using the Navy Twin Otter, was to study sort of the evolution of the Los Angeles aerosol plume as it travels outwards towards areas like Palm Springs, Coachella, and uh, downwind. 